Welcome back. This is session four of carving a preening hen mallard. This will be a relatively short video. Today we're going to focus on cutting out the head of this preening hen mallard. And that part is a little bit different, roughing at the head, than the drake mallard because the drake was just in a standard position. This hen is in a preening position. That means the neck is going to be a little bit bent uh, and we have to do a few things to uh, when we cut out the head to make sure that we're kind of supporting that nice curved preening position. So let's get some close-ups and get at it. All right, I've got a nice piece of three inch Tupelo here. By the way, you might hear some uh, noise in the background. There's some construction going on in the neighborhood. Life goes on as we continue to carve, and that's a good thing. But I apologize for the noise. I'm just looking to make this just large enough for the hen mallard head, and then I can save that piece for other uh, heads later. So we'll get that cut. We'll get it cut to width. This... Uh, Hen mallard head is two and three eighths inches wide. So I'll go ahead and do that, cut it out, and then we'll come back. Just another quick note before I uh, cut this out. This is a nice piece of Tupelo. The grain is running lengthwise, but it's also running this way, up and down, as opposed to this way. And that's the way I like to cut my heads out with the grain running up and down through the head as opposed to uh, perpendicular to the head. For me, it just makes carving a little nicer. Uh, I've done it both ways. It's possible to do it either way, but that's my preference. Okay, I've got the head cut out like we did the Drake's head and beginning to put my guidelines on here, center line, etc. This head is going to go in this position on the bird. And that is the only difference on the bottom. This is a one and seven eighths inch circle here. So I want to match that. I want to offset it to one side. Like that because we're gonna take material out of here to continue this nice curve up around the neck. And then on this side, we'll be able to undercut this area a little bit to then tie into the neck on this side. So we can line that right up and this material can come off down here as we're shaping this head before we mount it to the body. I hope that makes sense, but we just need to pay attention to that little uh, curvature when we start detailing the head. So I'll go ahead and work on this hen head. We'll come back uh, and then take a look at how it's going to sit on the body. All right, I've got the head cut out and I made that one additional kind of slanted cut to match up with the neck that we drew off to one side and then that'll go on the body kind of like that. It looks a little clunky right now but that's because the head hasn't been carved. But you can see I hope kind of the shape of things to come and the way this neck uh, blends into the the neck part of the neck we put on the body so that when we're done of a nice graceful preening position for that hen mallard i started the carving on the head and i just wanted to pause a minute um, just to show a little detail uh, this bird is in a as we talked about in a preening position so in the straight ahead position the center line of the head and neck is, is right here. And as this bird pulls around and pulls back, 
to preen, it's important that we keep that in mind that any carving I do on the back of the head, I wanna keep that in mind that the original anchor point of the back of the head was here. And as the bird turns, it's going to have a tendency to pull a little in that direction as opposed to out here. So I wanna carve to support that. And you can see that in this picture of the finished bird that uh, the, the back of the neck is pulled around a little bit and that indicates that, that twist is gone in this direction for the preen. I just thought it was important to mention that before I keep carving on the head. Okay, I got that head carved and uh, I'll show you a front view of that. If you can see that little kick to the side, that's important for this preening position and the way this uh, the neck kind of wraps around the side. Now um, I can put the head on the body, kind of get a feel for the composition together and whether I need to make any adjustments. You can see the way that neck is kicked back out and I can choose whether I want to cock the head a little bit or how deep I want to bury the bill into the scapulars, if at all, or what position I want the head to be in. But I think it's important to get the composition right before we move on to any more detailing of the bird. So you can see this neck doesn't match up perfectly. That's okay. I've left enough wood there that, you know, once I attach the head, we can narrow that down and make it look right but I like the way it's looking all right we had a shorter video today focused on the head of the preening hen mallard and just some of the key differences be between it and the drake that we carved previously if you're looking for the details of how to carve the bill, how to finish the bill, how to set eyes. You can refer to those Drake Mallard videos. They're, they're so similar to the hen that I just didn't want to duplicate that effort. Now we can see the head in relationship with the body and take a look at the composition overall, make some final adjustments in the attitude of the head, how it interfaces with the scapular feathers, etc. Next video, we'll be doing some finishing work on the body. I want to carve in a few tail feathers. I want to detail the speculum a little bit, maybe put some splits in, do some sanding, finish that up. And then we'll move to mounting the head in its final position, and we'll be pretty close to being done at that point. So I hope you're enjoying these. I'm enjoying putting them together, and good carving to you. See you next time from Ashland, Nebraska. This is Tom Christie signing off.